Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Locust. Um for the only reason that I wanted to play a light mech. And um yeah, we play the Locust 3M because that one has uh, three no five. Five. Five energy hard points, and we use them with medium lasers. The XL engine 190 is the highest that we could get, and the mech is super duper fast, 165 kph. With the medium lasers, we actually can engage at a reasonable range, so about 300 meters is our optimal range with all of the skills unlocked. And uh, we have some actually very good heat management thanks to our 11 heat sinks. So seven from the engine, four on top of that, and uh, we can be very, very active with that build. And uh, again, I like the options, not being super super close knife fighter grinding into the legs and ankles of the enemy, but rather being able to constantly switch flanks if it's getting too hot and still being able to be engaged with the enemy at about, again, 300 meters range. That's what I like. Now, the skill build looks like this. We have invested, of course, into the good old laser vomit firepower build here. We are going for heat gen, we are going for the laser duration nodes, of course, and a bit of range and cooldown. We obviously do not take survivability because uh, if you're getting shot, at all, you're doing something wrong in the Locust. And uh, therefore, we go for mobility because uh, speed is our armor. Maximum speed tweak, that really helps. And we go down the right side because that gives us some nice kinetic burst and hard break and anchor turn nodes here. The left side is for the upper torso mobility and um, the, the right side is for lower torso mostly. So therefore, get that anchor turn to get out of the, the situation quickly if it's getting too hot for you. Also, again, kinetic burst and hard break makes it so that you can just quickly stop and then move again. So to bait the enemy into trying to lead the shot in, in your direction and then you just stop really quick, you dodge the shot and then you keep going like that. That's what we do with that. We have a full cool run here because we had some spare points. I think you don't necessarily need that because you can just disengage and cool down again. However, if you want to be super active, that really helps. So take it if you need it, take it if you want it. Apart from it, um, if you don't like it, go for more sensors here. You could get full rated deprivation, you could get two points in seismic sensor, um, but I skipped that here in favor for the, the cooldown here, the cool run, the, yeah, cool run, that's what it's called. We also have a double cool shot, we have double artillery strike and that's basically it. It's a very, very nice harassing mech that can get into flanks, that can uh, skirmish a lot, and um, you will see that in the games. I hope you're going to have fun in the two games that are coming, and if you have, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Grim Plexus. I want to go to Theta because we are super fast and we can capture that real quick. And if we find a light mech there, then we have a problem. <laughs> this mech here. Uh, what I like to do with that is I like to harass enemy uh, assault mechs and enemy heavy mechs. Um, it is somewhat suited to fight enemy light mechs, but if you have something like a piranha, just run away because that guy just has more DPS than you have. And um, therefore, it's not a good idea to fight enemy like max they will just stay on your tail and they will just uh, hit you often and over time you will die and that's not good so let's um, you know try to avoid that and go for the big guys and just bait some heat and firepower out of them while my team is uh, you know just killing them that's the idea here we do the squirrel move okay we have a piranha on our side which is trying to backstab um hey Sancho you want to backstab I can come to you if you want Sancho come on give me some info talk to me that's so important, guys. Communication. Communication is key in the game and in life in general. Hey, Sancho, I'm going. I'm going in on the mauler. Shall we do it together? Maybe not. Uh, I think we have been spotted. Shall we? No, this guy is not looking at us. All right. So we have the piranha. We have the... Oh, my God. It's everybody. On the mauler. On the mauler. On the mauler. Let's go. Let us go. Okay. Mm hmm. They know that we're here. Hello. What? Oh, he's running lasers only. <gasps> I thought he was running machine guns. And honestly, I might have been a little bit too early with all of this stuff that we did here. Disengaging now. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. They are focusing us. Hotel 7 is bound, guys. Push the other guys. Hotel 7 is bound. So, artillery strike dropping, of course. Uh, it was good that they, that they came to us. Ooh, I hear explosions. I will go for the Shadowhawk, definitely. Maybe we can get a kill on him. Yeah, okay, cool. So there's that. First kill of the day. 
And this is the cool thing about Lightmax, guys. I love being independent from the team. We can just do whatever we want. It's not a good idea to go into this choke point here because we have no escape plan from there. Uh, the only way to um, get out of there is either pushing through or pulling back. And um, that's not a good idea. Uh oh, Miss Link's not good. Uh, actually, he's running ER mediums. Uh, let's see. Where did he go? Let's get some damage on him. Honestly, we should go for legs. Ah, this is not good. Okay. So, artillery strike is coming. Let's get out of this situation. Uh, I'm going for the Victor Delta. Delta Victor. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Is he alone? The Victor is alone, guys. You can kill him. Somewhat alone. But yeah, again, easy kill. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I will push through. Because I guess this guy is too focused on what's going on behind him. Or in front of him. So that we could just easily go over here and uh, try to get the kill. Yeah. Not even a problem. Mm -hmm. Cool shot here. Just because we can. And I drop artillery on the high ground there. Because they will probably try to pull back to that spot. And if they do, they will get damaged. God, I, lo I love this so much, guys. <laughs> Locust play. Nice kill. Holy cow, we are rolling over them. And at this point, I think the game is already over. Since we are ahead by... Uh, six. I wanted to say four, but it's actually six. So, go for the Vindicator. At this point, I need to be a bit careful with my feet, though. So, let's cool down. Let's get another shot on his back, if we can. No, not enough. Come on, buddy. Nice. Seven and oh. Hello? I was the Mauler from before. Um, no, let's try to block him so that he cannot run away. Okay. Blocking was successful, and um, <laughs> I don't know. We also have the cap advantage. So there's one guy at Sigma. We have Sigma, by the way. Um, Sigma's there. Okay, so I will go to Sigma. It's probably the Mistlings, because I didn't see him on the battlefield anymore. And um, maybe we can kill him. He was. If it is the Mistlings, we can definitely, because we are in a good shape and we have more heat management than he has, and he is very damaged already. So his leg was red in terms of armor. His uh, center was open. No, not quite open, but it was also very damaged. Let's see. Is it him? It's another locust. Okay. Let's go. So we we are as fast as him. And I don't bother capping right now because um, I think it's easier. Where is he? There. It's easier to get the kill here than um, or finishing the game by getting the kill than going for the caps here. Let's see. Yep. Dude, don't run away. You cannot outrun me. I'm 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 the same speed as you as you. Maybe even maybe even faster since I got my speed tweak unlocked. Yeah. He has uh, stealth on, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, now he needs to fight. He just realized he cannot outrun me. Uh, trying on point. Trying to stay on point here. Also trying not to overheat myself. Got it. Alright. So that's the Locust. Uh, we have somebody capturing already, so we might as well f try to find the other guy. Let's see. Uh, other, other two guys, actually. Anything being capped. So, hmm. Interesting. So we got all of the capture points, but we still have two enemies online. Where are they? We need to find out. So this area is covered here. I believe I will go to Kappa. Maybe they will try to get that thing off. I don't know. Can you kill with narcs? No, you cannot. Oh wait, what? One guy killed himself? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So... Again, the, the most important thing here to finish the game quickly is to cover as much area as possible to find the last guy alive. And again, I was thinking that since nobody has a target, that guy would be at Kappa or in the proximity of this point here. Seems to be not the case. Hmm. There's a dead body. Okay. Where's the last guy? Damn it, guys, come on, show yourself. Um, I mean, yes, to be honest, um... Th that guy can't do anything anymore, so I wish he would just come out. At this point, we have all of the capture points. We have 11 and 0, so we completely steamrolled the enemy team. Our bait was actually great, so um, to recap the game a little bit, uh, what we did here is we split them up. We bound the heavy and assault mech lands in, the, in this area here, in the Hotel 7 area. 
And that made it so that our the rest of our team could just roll over the, their vanguard, their mediums and lights. And um, afterwards we just dealt with the, with the big guys here that couldn't really regroup, that couldn't really do something together with the other mechs. And this is the thing that I really like about uh, playing light mechs. You, you can just um, split the enemy team, you have so much crowd control by just being a light mech. I hear explosions. Ah, there he is! Oh no, it's an Evan Jaguar disconnected. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Yeah, I should have taken a look at this here. And I would have seen that. Okay, so that's one of one more of the reasons why the enemy team got got uh, yeah, rode so hard. Having a disconnect is a huge disadvantage in a uh, 12 versus 12 game because that's um, again a huge portion of the firepower that you take out then. Sorry. But anyhow, um gameplay was good, gameplay was fun. And we also got two kills. That's really nice. So, again, two kills, uh, seven assists. We got four kill most damage dealt. A lot of the damage was coming from the artillery strikes, but hear me out, guys. It is an asset in the game that you can use and um, therefore <laughs> use it. It's just good. 861 damage done with four components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold, we are playing Domination and we try to go to the circle real fast. Now the cool thing about the Locust on this map is mm, you fit mm, underneath the uh, underneath the ramps. I'm, I'm gonna show you real quick. So this is a nice escape plan or a nice uh, hiding plan, especially when you have ECM. So if you're playing the Pirate Spain or if you're playing the Flea 20 or something, that's really nice because then you can just hide here. Give me a second. Like here. Ha! And uh, you can shoot legs from here or whatever. So that's really nice. What I want to do though is uh, I want to harass the enemy quickly and early and uh, try to stop their movement so that my heavies and what is that? Yeah, it's mostly heavies here um, are coming in and uh, helping me out a bit. Hello, Mr. Waka. Always legs on Wackers, by the way. Wackers are actually relatively weak there. Uh, they, no, the other way around. They have a very sturdy upper torso. And yeah, anything like a lower torso? Uh, you, you know what I mean, right? So, um, therefore, I, I try to go for legs mostly. And again, we just deal some damage here without getting too much return fire, hopefully. Hello, Mr. Shadowhawk. What are you running, by the way? I just want to see. That's double AC5. Okay, okay. Hello. So, I'm very well aware that I'm not in optimal range, but I also want to play it a little bit safe. Hey, what's that guy? Uh, I'm coming to help you with Fox 4. Let's go. I see only one enemy and one friend that is fighting the Jäger mech. Oh, actually two enemies now. Mmm, it's a Gauss, Gauss Jäger. It's not good. I need to be aware where the enemies are here. Wait, is that a Shadowhawk? No, it's a Roughneck. Ooh. Oh, give me, give me that backside. Give me that back. Maybe. Okay, artillery and out. Let's go. I dropped artillery in the Fox 4 area. Don't go there. Fox 4 artillery strike. Let's see if we get some damage in. Oh. Okay, let's not deal damage to my teammates and we go for heat vision here because that that really helps getting the damage on the point where I want it to be. Cool, that's a kill. Uh, the other guys. Uh oh, that's not good. He's running AC20 and SRMs or something. So in this situation here, I'm not completely um, in the flank. I'm not independent from the team. I'm within the team, which is bad because now the enemy can just or I cannot. I don't know how to say it. But the enemy will just focus me because it's just another enemy in front of them, right? Uh, if I'm in the flank, I might be able to dodge more fire. Again, this is uh, front peeking is not really good with the mech. Okay, I have nowhere to run, so we need to fight. We need to get this guy off the field so that we are able to get somewhere. It's the Shadowhawk. Let's go. It's another Shadowhawk. It's a 2K. At the moment, though, I think it's okay to do this a bit more. Again. New target Engaging acquired. from the front, not usually the best idea. Uh-huh. We got him though, cool. Uh, what is really nice here is that our teammates are completely target acquired. together. So they are split, they have a split on top and in the, in the lower ground, and we can technically just go in and uh, fight in one direction. I Our hope my teammates are doing it though. Are we getting the top? Guys, take the top. Most of them are in the bottom. Let's just take the top and kill them. And then deal with the rest. Ugh, this is not good. It's this, by the way. Oh, he's disconnected. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give him a chance to come back, alright? Dis disconnected farming is not good. I, I don't like that. I'd rather help out against enemies that are actually shooting. So, let's get on top again. Let's try to help out with the quick draw and the huntsman. Quick draw is down. Huntsman's still alive. Very much so. 
Okay, it seems that now all of them are in the in the basement. New Can we do it acquired. here? I, I, yeah, we can actually. Let's go. Let's go. Let's help New out. Target acquired. Try to get all of our lasers on the point. And uh oh, uh oh, uh, he's running heavy lasers at least, so we might be able to splash the damage and still deal some nice damage in return. Uh, even more so since we have friends around. Come on. <laughs> Get wrecked, man. That New takes forever. Acquired. All right, Ice Ferret. Wow, who shot me in the back? New target acquired. This guy probably, right? Oh yeah, rockets and MRMs. I was saying legs on the bushwhacker early, but now that his uh, uh, torso is open, we should really try to get that thing off. Mm -hmm, I don't like. Can we? Yeah, that's an XL, right? That's the Shadowhawk from before. Shadowhawk, please. Delta, Delta Shadowhawk. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Artillery. Artillery. Activated. Where's the... There's the... Okay, legs on the mislings. Let's go. Got him. And he should be down now. Okay. Ooh, tough game, though. That's what you get. Oh, 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 oh override. That's, I wanted to say, that's what you get when you leave enemies on the field. Anybody here? Yep. That's the ice ferret. Heavy lasers. Oh, crap. Okay, let's just push him a bit away from the main fight. I just wanted to harass him so that we um, that we get some room to breathe here. Target acquired. There's the Shadowhawk. Oh no, it's the other one. Damn it. Okay, let's try to get his side torso off. I believe this is an XL build. Target acquired. Doesn't Target really matter destroyed. because he is center torso death now. Top, in the middle. Ooh, there was an ice ferret in the center on top, yeah. Target acquired. Let me see. Can we do it? Side torso is open now. Sorry guys for the heat vision. I really need that for my for my aim. Oh, he's uh, stuck here. That's good. And now he's dead, right? Right? Ah, oh, damn it! Twist angle was over. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hello, Mr. Ferret. I'm right behind you. Mhm. Mm now you should really turn around, so that I can kill you. Okay, eight and eleven. We have the circle. So the timer is ticking, that means that nobody is around. Is there another disconnect? Nope, the last one is still alive, so we can probably go back to normal vision here. <laughs> wow, what a game, guys. What a game. Yeah, we can just take the circle, or keep it. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to find the last one. Maybe he is AFK. Maybe we can confirm that he is still in spawn. So, let's see. Mm, I'm gonna check their spawn. So, 21, 20 is still ticking. The timer. At least we can, at least we can just uh, win the game by staying in the circle. Now he's in. Yeah, there he is. That was <laughs> the Shadow Rocket I was looking for. The 2K, exactly. SRM6 Artemis. Nice build, by the way. I like that a lot. He got a kill. Ooh, this is not over yet, guys. This is not over. Mhm. Mm he's very, very damaged, though. Was he on top or on the bottom? Uh, I think I'm gonna check top first, because I can drop at any time. Okay, he's not there, he's in the bottom then. So... Where? Target oh yeah, there. Acquired. Let's go! Leg critical, damage. leg critical? Can we do it? Uh, we have three mechs here. He's Target alone. Destroyed. And he was XL. Alright! <laughs> That's it, guys. Snatch the kill. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, um... Good game! I like the light mix. I wasn't really a light mix player until I tried to uh, tried it a bit and practice, and now I love them so much, guys. It's so cool to just be completely independent from everything that is going on okay, on the battlefield. That's really nice. Now we had four killing blows. We had eight assists, three kill most damage dealt, 812 damage done, with seven components destroyed. That was the Locust with five medium lasers, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.